Hi. Um, right, we're out for a, a little walk, bit of exercise, our exercise for the day. So we've parked at Menabilly and we're taking a walk down now to Polridmouth Beach. I hope I've said that right. Um, one of our favourite beaches, this one. It's lovely. Um, nothing here, no facilities here or anything, but nice shallow bay. Um, so, you know, kids can play safely in the water um, without it getting too deep. And yeah, so we're just walking down now. So come with us, let's see what we find. What's around the corner? Love it. <laughs> Always need to know what's around the corner. Just over the hedge to our right is the sea, which I will obviously show you in a minute. Very busy today. Again, everybody just out, it's dry weather. Get out for your allotted exercise time. We love this walk. We do this quite a lot in the summer. Not too far from home, or far, you know, with the rules at the minute, you're not allowed to go too far. It is a bit wet and muddy. <laughs> so good to be out. So good. Fresh air. Bit of a headache this morning. One too many beverages last night. <laughs> Had to be done Saturday night, innit? Be able to see the sea in just a second. Beautiful. There we go. One lady been swimming. Crazy. Look at that. Beautiful. Tides a really long way out actually. Really long way out. We're going up and over the coast path, up over there. So this is part of the southwest coast path that goes all around the edge of Cornwall. Absolutely stunning, as you can imagine. even on a grey light day like today. Love the sound of the sea. Check this place out. So this is literally just around the corner from where we were just now. But they live. So the sea is there. And they live here. <laughs> Lucky gits. <laughs> right for some isn't it? Look at it. They've got their own kind of lake thing going on. Beautiful. I don't know how they managed to swing that one. Stunning. So we're going up here to the right along the coast path, but we'll be coming back down that path later. We're doing like a circular, circular walk. But to begin with, we've got to go up here. Dear Lord. That's where I start with my heavy breathing again. <laughs> You're so lucky. Oh, yeah. Okay. Forgot about the steps. Ooh. 
A good workout for the old thighs. Jeez. Imagine some of the steps are like the height of my knee. We made it. It's actually not very high. I'm just not really fit. Very fit. Let me show you. There you go. Beautiful. And we're going over there behind me. Oh, I'm so unfit. This is going to get me fit though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's so good to get out. <laughs> so how are you all? Hope you're all okay. It's weird old times. Just, uh, yeah, I wanted to bring you along with us really. Those of you who can't get out and about, don't have access to countryside, I do really feel for you. So I thought if I bring you with me, then hopefully it'll feel like you've got out a little bit. Bit of escapism for a little while. So we're currently walking round towards Foy and Fowey. <laughs> Foy. And there's a little castle, a ruin of a castle, called St Catherine's Castle. And it was built by Henry VIII. And it was one of two artillery posts to protect Foy Harbour back in the day. So it'll be interesting to show you that. Not an awful lot of it left from what I remember, but still cool nonetheless. So, oh, hopefully the more videos I do, the more you'll see my cardio improve. <laughs> That's the dream. That's the dream. Look at this little cove down here. Beautiful. The colour of the water and stuff. So I think I've said before, the Cornish Coast Path, my goodness, <laughs> there's a lot of up and down so we've got to go down here in a minute to cross to go back up over there to go down again to go back up over there <laughs> really good for the legs really good workout I thought I would be freezing today I've got a massive wool jumper in my rucksack and I'm absolutely boiling <laughs> I just put my hat on because the wind hurts my ears. I'm like an actual child, I get earache. <laughs> so yeah, I had to put my hat on, but oh man alive. It is a hot one. Weird, but it is absolutely exhausted as well. Just goes to show how unfit I am. Oh, going down to another, down to another little cove. And then, uh, up the big one yeah I might um, need to put you down before I fall down <laughs> yeah didn't fancy clambering down that funnily enough without both hands down at the next little cove we did look up here for a possible wild camp spot once upon a time but there's nowhere flat if you had a tent. If you had a hammock, you'd probably be all right. We're going up here. Oh dear Lord, send help. We've got this. Oh yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> We're about halfway up. Our youngest has just run, obviously, the entire way, and is now waiting at the top with our pasties, I hasten to add. We've, uh, yeah, cheated ourselves today. Some pasties for lunch. There's a bench <laughs> right up on top of this hill. I don't know if you can see it, just about at the top. I asked if they wanted to go and sit on it. A oh, resounding no, funny that. So, yeah, St. Catherine's Castle is just up and over this hill. I think she says <laughs> she hopes um so yeah nearly there and then we're gonna stop we're walking to ready money cove and that's where we're gonna stop and eat our pasties oh, oh my god Where we're going. 
Dublin. Oh yes, the castle is down here. <laughs> Lucky, wasn't it? I could have walked straight past it and not even seen it. Not very well signposted. Another little path down there. There it is. It's not like you can go in it, I don't think. It looks quite cool though. You can just about see the ruins of the other one opposite as well. I can go out to it, how exciting. Didn't remember that. Get my eyes poked out by blackthorn, be really good. Ooh, ooh. Uh -uh. We're at a dead end. Let's see if we can find out how to get in. <laughs> it's a dead end. <laughs> helps if you follow the signs. Although to be fair the sign was behind us in our defence. Another little footpath goes down to the castle. Wow, I use the word castle loosely. An artillery fort is a little bit different isn't it to be fair. Can't believe how warm it is. Just over the river, there is Foy, darling. They're posh. They're posh. Not for the likes of me. <laughs> oh. oh, this looks cool. There we go. Oh, wow. Presumably. This is where there were big old cannons, I'm assuming. Two big old cannons. Amazing. You can go all the way. Oh, she says going the wrong way. All the way up there. I'll bring you back from the top in a sec. What is it with more flipping steps? See an old staircase up there. All the little windows. Presumably they had the cannons and stuff. So cool. Chimney. <laughs> Where they would have had their fires. You can see up the top. I don't know if you can. I can. <laughs> Oh, it's really busy, but we're going down now. Come back up from the castle, go down to the beach, have a pasty. Yes, can't wait. No, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lunchtime. Sitting on the beach in November. 
who'd have thought it? You'll never guess what. There's only another hill. <sighs> so we've just finished our pasties. Sat on the beach for a little while. And now we're heading back across country to the car. I haven't brought a map because <laughs> we've done this walk several times before. So just hoping we can actually remember the way. Ooh. Beautiful, all the leaves changing colours. Absolutely stunning. I love autumn. So good to be out. <clears throat> oh look, <laughs> more steps. Oh my word, my legs will be aching tomorrow. It is all a bit muddy. Boys sensibly decided not to wear their walking boots. Obviously. <laughs> Guess who'll be cleaning their trainers when they get home? Not me. <laughs> oh, it's very slippy. We've been very, very lucky not to have any rain while we've been out. But we have had a lot of mist. I don't know if any of you remember the scene with Monica from Friends <laughs> when her hair gets bigger and bigger in the humidity. Yeah, that's kind of me. It's all fun and games. Joys of curly hair. See? Look at it. Ridiculous. Looked beautiful and straight when we left this morning. Honestly. Urgh. Kind of feels like this path goes forever. <laughs> Just one long straight path. And it is a bit frustrating really because the sea's over to the left but you can't see it because the hedge is too high. But at least we had all those beautiful views as we came in. So we've just finished coming along that path and just come out of this field full of something growing, don't know what. I'm sure one time we walked along here and it was cabbages. We don't look like cabbages now. So we just walked around the edge of this field. The gribbons over there. There you go. We just need to get to the other side of this field. Uh, going back down now back down to join up Ooh, she said slipping back down to join up with the coast path again by the house on the beach and then we're back where we started oh, it's been so good to get out I hope you've enjoyed coming with us a bit of a virtual walk around part of Cornwall <laughs> nice to bring you along to make the most of these days when it is dry weekends are just too flipping short that's the problem back to work tomorrow and school obviously so yeah just have to make the most of getting out when we can back to the beach what I'm gonna do is take you down so you can just hear the sound of the sea for a little while and and the seagulls. I don't know about you guys, but I love the sound of seagulls, personally. Except they've all stopped <laughs> making any noise now. God, there's a lot of seaweed here. It smells rather interesting too. As you can see, slightly calmer than the other day, although we are on the south coast now as opposed to the north coast but yeah if you want to see big waves have a look at my last video 
That was crazily epic. Oh, look at it, guys. It's the Gribbon. Pole Ridmouth Bay just around the corner. And then we walk back up to the car from there. breathe I don't know about anyone else but that sound I find so relaxing really hoping that my wind muffler and my little mic is making a difference to you this time as well just stunning I'm going to wrap up the video here guys thank you so much for watching what better way to end than at the beach with the waves crashing behind me thank you so much for coming with us i really hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to the next one take care see you soon bye